In today's video, we will be doing custom rings on the 1A2 key system. Yes, you can accomplish that. A double ring, maybe a triple ring by using a 10 volt relay. Actually, this is a 12 volt AC relay, but the uh, but we'd be switching uh, 10 volts from the interrupter. And this is a simple um, schematic of the relay that we'll be using. Don't pay attention to the at the top. You have the power connections, and that will be coming from the interrupter at 10 volts. And it will be switching um, 100 and 104, somewhere around there, um, um, for the um, ringing, ring voltage, I believe, somewhere around in that neighborhood. And that will be on the off position of the relay, normally closed. And that is normally open on so the relay is off it's normally closed so that is a circuit that we'll be using today but I also will demonstrate what it sounds like when you use the normally open when the uh, relay is on so here are the connections that we'll be using today That stands for, let me pull up my little sheet here, make sure I'm telling you the correct information. We'll be using the lamp flash, which is 60, uh, 60 per minute, that is for incoming calls. And the lamp, no excuse me, I got that backwards. The lamp wink is 60 per minute for incoming, and hold, which is lamp flash, is 120 per minute and the ringing cadence will be uh, one second on and three seconds off so basically that power is being switched with the interrupter so it's making a contact and breaking the contact basically so that will you know that f uh, provides the ringing in the flash I mean the flashing uh, on the lamps on the telephone and we also will be using the BZI or BZ1 and the BZ, uh, which that is uh, no power, and that's being uh, switched uh, with the interrupter. So you can apply whatever voltage that you want to um, make and break. Now I believe it may be. Um, I don't know what the cadence on, on that is. We're gonna have to test that out. So let me go ahead and get this all wired up and get the set up and be right back. Okay, I got everything hooked up. I got my telephone hooked up. Unfortunately, the extension cable I'm using, because this is going to be a line one, somehow um, there's a short on line one, so I can't pick up the line, but it will ring um, like we want it to ring as a demonstration. I just can't pick it up. So basically, we're going to be using the power from the, um, is it the lamp flash? Yeah, the lamp flash. And basically, we are interrupting interrupting the common audible, audible to the phones. So in this particular mode, we all, we're also going to be leaving the um, interrupted ring option on on the um, card. In uh, the next couple clips I'll be showing you what it sounds like a uh, continuous ring pattern with the um, lamp flash and lamp wink patterns. And I got the, so you got your 10 volt um, power coming from there from the white alligator clip and it's going over, uh, going over here to the relay in then the relay out is going over here to the ground that will complete the circuit and it's making and breaking the common audible here so 
So let's go ahead and get this demonstrated here. This is going to be the double ring. On the 182 key systems, it takes a couple seconds once a line is released or disconnected for uh, it to stop. So let's go ahead and do lamp wink. See how what that sounds like. And folks, be careful. That is live voltage. As you can see, the relay is energized. It's 10 volts. Just be careful. You know, take precautions. Uh, what you really need to not touch is the RN. That is ringing voltage, as well as this right here is ringing voltage. So be very careful. Um, what I would recommend to do is hook the, hook that up with the system is off, or at least pull the card out. Uh, just be on the safe side if you want to do that. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. kind of cool too and remember let me pull up my cheat sheet here I think you know you I, wink is a, a 60 maybe that's wrong I don't know I get them mixed up Hold is 120, so this is 120. Okay, I, I, so yeah, this is 120 per second. I mean, per second, per minute, that is. So we're doing the lamp wink at 120. That's kind of cool, that, that ring. Okay, so next, let's go ahead and see what it sounds like if we do it um, um, normally, um, hmm, normally open. Oh, by the way, let me show you this. So it's normally closed, so if, if you lose power to the relay, it just returns to normal ring. Oh, let's see. I can't see. There, I can see it better now. <laughs> Cheap alligator clips from China Freight. So let me go ahead and reverse the, um, the contacts on the relay and see what that sounds like. Okay, I switched the um, outputs of the relay to uh, normally open. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what this sounds like here with the lamp flash. And this is the interrupted ringing on the card here. So, no change there. So, let's go ahead and change that to lamp wink. So, that sounds different, a double ring.
So it sounds better on the normally close. So let's see what happens if we lose the um, power to the relay here. Nothing, because the relay is off. So let's go ahead and see what this sounds like if it's uh, a continuous ring, continuous audible signal. So let me go ahead and get the card switched out. And in order to make it a continuous signal, you know, ringing, buzzing, whatever your uh, audible signal is, you need to know your, uh, get your practice of your particular line card. Um, because that will tell you the particular straps that you need to use to change it here. So for audible signal, I don't know how well that's not zooming in very well. This is glossy, transparent, uh, what eliminated? Okay. For continuous ring, we need to strap it to six to uh, six to eight which I have already done on a spare card here. Actually, this is my normal card here. Right there. This just excess wire that's not going to hurt nothing. So this, these are the straps that you would need to change. So you need to make sure you do have the correct practice for the card to make sure you don't damage anything because if you do it wrong it will screw up something and blow a fuse so let's go ahead and swap let me go ahead and swap the card out be right back I have switched out the cards and this is going to be now going to be the uh, continuous ring audible signal and this is going to be on the lamp flash and this and I switched it, uh, the relay to normally closed operation so let's go ahead and see what this sounds like. And let's go ahead and switch it to, that's kind of annoying, unless you have a hotline that you want to have that done on. So let's go ahead and switch it to lamp um, wink. So this is what it sounds like uh, continuously, and that's an option on the card. So let's go ahead and do lamp wink. That's lamp wink. That's pretty cool. This also could be done on like a hotline that you want to be programmed on the, um, not programmed, but wired in. Now, knowing that that's kind of cool though. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we wired it also through the BZ and BZ1 through the interrupter. What kind of ringing can we get from that? So let me go ahead and get that uh, uh, connected here. Okay, I have connected this. So I'm feeding the lamp wink power through the BZ, uh, which is also... I believe either either lamp flash or lamp wink as well. So it's all you know. That's just basically closing a contact and get that connected over here. So let's go ahead and see what that sounds like here. And this is on the um, continuous ring. And I also will do a um, the interrupted normal ring when I switch the cards. So once again, this is continuous ring through the. Uh, lamp wink and the busy um, contact closure through the interrupter. The wrong extension.
Is it doing like three times? Yeah. Continuous ring. Yeah, that's kind of cool too. Let's go ahead and see what the lamp flash. So it's so, kind of like before. Because it's also doing the lamp flash uh, cadence as well. So let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and switch out the cards to the normal interrupted ringing and see what this sounds like. I swapped out the card uh, for a uh, interrupted ringing and um, got this for um, lamp flash through the BZ contact closers. And I think it's going to be the same as before as that's also doing the same cadence. But let's go ahead and, and see. Yeah, that's cut. Kind of, that's cool as before. Doing the double ring. Well, let's go ahead and switch it to lamp wink. Oh, okay. That's cool, too. Yeah, it's, it's doing three. D a triple ring. That thing's just chatting away. So yeah, that's the um, lamp wink for the lamp flash contact closure on the BZ terminals. I kind of like that too. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's see here. So I have a plan kind of in my head, a little project with my intercom lamp because it doesn't do any lamp flashing except when you dial the, uh, the station, just a little flash. But you can strap, you can do a relay on the ST to ground over here on the power supply. Uh, no, actually you would do a relay strap in the ST. No, I take that back. You would do a relay on the um, ground or the 24 volt uh, contact on the uh, on the intercom and that would either open, well actually it should close the um, the ST to ground and that will make the uh, interrupter start. Actually, let's see if I can short it out now. Folks, just be careful. Well, actually, no, I can't do that like this with a screwdriver because it has to be grounded to the power supply. Oh, another thing just falls. So, very interested in results that, that you can do. Uh, unfortunately, the relay is powered on constantly. I'm not an expert on that, but I don't know if that will make it burn out faster or what the case may be. 
you probably, because this is just a cheap old China one, you probably want to get an American made relay that will last um, continuous power on. So if you do have any questions or comments, please post them below.